guys will not believe how many opportunities I've had to con you. Let me explain myself slightly here. Okay, so on YouTube, when you get a little bit of popular on YouTube, here's me there on YouTube. What happens is, is lots and lots of companies, let's make them, there's the companies or something. The companies want to use you and leverage you to promote their brand and their product because you've got lots and lots of eyes. This gives them the opportunity to make contact with those eyes and therefore promote their product. This started happening years and years ago, but now I've got a few more subscribers. I literally get contacted every day by companies. 99% of the time, they just want your money. And in doing that, they, they, they offer me a little gift. They say, we'll give you this money, we'll give you this if you say this and promote us as this amazing brand or company or service or whatever. It's normally educational stuff. There's always these new educational websites coming out that are gonna teach you how to play bass guitar. But there's always a catch. There's always something in there which I say, this isn't right. I kind of pride myself on that. I was back there learning how to play an instrument and I wouldn't want to be taken advantage of. I finally found something that I think is brilliant. Distro kit, right there. Distro kit, link below. This is a sponsored video. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. Because this company got in contact with me and they said, uh, would you like to uh, do a video on our product? And just like all of the other emails I get, I was just about to put it in a bin. Found out it was a music distribution one. I thought, ah, oh, I need to distribute my music. I've got so much music, as you guys know. I've got bands on the go and I need to get it out there. And all of the traditional ways that I've done this through CD Baby and all of this and chink or whatever, Okay, it's just been a nightmare. You can get standalone sites like um, Bandcamp, Reverb Nation, and stuff like that. But if you want true coverage of your music, you need to hit the big. You need to hit the iTunes and Amazon and, and Google Play and Spotify. And to do that can be a laborious, time-consuming, expensive task. Trust me, I've been there on a lot of occasions. I mean, one of our songs, a penthouse song, we went to get one song up there. It ended up costing something like thirty pounds. It took two weeks to get up there. Uh, it was just a nightmare. And you know when you, you've got a new song and you just want to share it with the world? You want to share it with the world. You don't want to wait until it goes on Amazon and iTunes because they've got all of these criteria and it's ah! I just found one of the emails that I sent to this guy. Um, I, think that it is, I think that this company is like a really teeny, teeny company. It's not some corporate thing. I think it might just be a couple of people. Uh, and I said, and I actually said to the guy, yeah, all right, man, what's the catch? <laughs> <laughs> and you come back saying no cash, so I did some research. Okay, so firstly, we'll get your music into iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, Google Play, Tidal, YouTube, Deezer, and 150 other stores and streaming services. 150, wow. Okay, you keep 100% of your royalties and you get paid monthly. That is like, it normally, a little bit's taken out through commission. I don't think I've heard of another site that you keep 100%. Or there is one, I can't remember what it is, but it's expensive. In stores between 10 and 20 times faster than any other distributor at a fraction of the price. That's the speed, so when you want, you want to get your song out there as quickly as possible, you don't want to have to wait. And this is it. <laughs> right, okay, pay 19, $20 a year to upload unlimited, unlimited albums and songs for a year. Our competitors charge at least two times that just to upload one album. This is the thing, right? You normally pay per album or per song or something like that. Uh, $20 a year for unlimited albums. For somebody like me, who just wants to keep on uploading, is, is prolific, a prolific writer, and wants just to get content on the internet for people to be able to purchase if they want to support my stuff. This is brilliant. Keep all your earn. This this is another great thing. Keep all your earnings, or automatically route any percentage of earnings from any track to anyone. So if you want, so a guitarist has played on your your piece, and you want to pay them, you can automatically track to them. That 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 takes out a lot of problems, trust me. And bonus features, DistroKid can help you distribute cover songs legally and get you paid when other people use your music in YouTube. Wow. Okay, there's a link below. Um, you don't have to do this, but uh, I think that in that link you get 7% off if you join up, uh, something like that. This is the first time in a really, really long time doing this on YouTube and the internet that I've been really excited about a new brand and a new product. I just like to be honest with you guys, you should know that by now. Any of you long-term watchers of this channel know that. That is a good deal, use it.
The boss bass overdrive. It's all right. Just need to play with the settings a little more. I might give a do a review on this at some point if I could be bothered. Let's teach you that other line. So what we're going to do is um, the more astute amongst you would have, have realised that the um, this open D string here is actually a C. Um, it gives you this kind of like it's cool grungy feel about it. Um, you're basically just going down half a step from the D. Um, and all you need to do there is just take your C there, which is third fret on the A string, and tune the D string to that. Just I've been, uh, I've been like, uh, hello, I've been experimenting with like drop tunings and, and but doing them in different places and stuff recently. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's difficult to explain, but I'm gonna try my best. What we're gonna do is gonna play the D and the G strings. You wanna get this going on. Okay, so playing the D string with my thumb and the G string with my finger there at the same time, yeah? Like that. Okay, and then you're going to play the A string by itself with this finger. So you do this and then this. And then play the A string again with your thumb. Okay, and you're going to get this continuous motion. We're doing then is fretting the G's, uh, the notes on the G string, and all we're playing is uh, we're playing the 14th fret on the G string with your ring finger, the 12th fret on the G string with your index finger, 15th fret on the G string. Oh, good lord, sorry, okay, sorry about that. So, 15th fret there on the G string with your ring finger, so we've got 10th fret on the G string with your index finger. Okay, and then come to the ninth fret with your index finger. So, and then do a hammer on, okay, to the tenth fret with your middle finger. And then pull it back off again. So you got, yeah, so you end up back on the ninth fret. So we have, and again, oops. Right, so we're going to implement that with what. I spoke about before. Oh, and then you do an open G at the end of it. And straight after you pull off, you hit the open G. Yeah, so you don't stay on the ninth fret, sorry, so that's what you want. So, we're now going to implement that with what I taught you before. So this technique here, going to do is implement the notes. Okay, and then what we're going to do is come here to play the A string open Okay, put your fingers, put your uh, ring finger down on the 14th fret of the G string, and then um, over the 12th fret on the D and the G strings, your index finger, just lay those, bridge those right across, and then ring finger there, 14th uh, on, on, the, on the G string. Okay, you're going to play the A and the G strings at the exact same time, and then the D string. Yeah, so we have this chord here. So. Play the A string again, and then play the 12th fret at the G string, which is planted there yeah, with your index finger, which is already barred over. This business, yeah, slowly. Okay, so we have. Mm-hmm. 
hold on this note here, and then we're going to come down. We're going to play the 15th fret and the G string again. Basically going to play exactly the same thing, but you're going to play the A in there as well. So we play the A and the G at the same time. D, okay, so A and the G, then the open D string. And play the A string again. And then play the G string. A rolling out. Yeah, so what's good we have? I'll go slowly, sorry. slightly. Okay, then we're going to come to this chord. So that's the 7th fret on the A string with your ring finger. Uh, uh, bar over the uh, the D and the G strings, uh, the 5th fret with your index finger, 7th fret with your ring finger, and you're going to hold, maintain this chord here. Yeah? Okay, what we're going to do there is exact the same thing as here. So, A and G, play the D string, then do an open G. So and then you repeat that. Dun 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 dun. And then you come back down to the fifth fret, so slowly. Uh, when you're taking this bar off, you can you take the bar off the D as well. So it brings out as well. So, bum, dun, 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 hold, and then come up to the 6th fret on the uh, A string with your middle finger, the 7th fret on the D string with your index finger, and the 9th fret on the G string with your little finger. Do the same thing again chord wise. So, we're going to play the, the A and the G, then the D string, then play the A again, then play the G string, but you're going to Take your little finger off there at the 7th fret, sorry, the ninth fret, and it's going to be barred down on the 7th fret. Yeah, so we have. And after that, we do that once. And then we're just going to play an open G. Slowly. we have hold and again Do what you want. Anyway, it's more of an advanced lesson that one. I um, hope that you can get your teeth into it and give you some some ideas. Anyway, anyway, my friends, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next video.